good morning and welcome to the JK Today. Today is a fun day. We have got so much happening at our house and Madeline, today is the day Madeline gets impressions because braces are coming off, yay! But I kept hearing um, this noise in my backyard and I'm like, what's going on? That's our backyard. That's the only grass we have left. He's pulling it all up. Yep, no more grass. No, just kidding. We are resodding the backyard. The grass that was here originally, it doesn't, it just wasn't thriving. I think it's got too much shade. So Jay attempted to try to plant some grass seed and the grass, I mean, it just, it won't even grow because there's just so much. We even got a shade loving seed and it just wasn't, it just wasn't working. Um, and so we found this great company to come out. They're pulling up that, they've got that neat little tool um, to just tear up all the grass and then they're gonna lay fresh sod. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm so excited about it. Um, too bad there's not a pool going in there though, you know, right? I should have tricked y'all. I should have been like, oh, we're preparing the pool. But no, I'm honest. <laughs> now, if Jay had been vlogging, he probably would have led y'all to believe that we were getting a pool. But, sorry. I'm just a truth teller. It's just fresh sod, guys. But hey, that makes me extremely happy. Because um, nothing looks more beautiful than fresh sod in a backyard. Oh, now if we can just keep Soka from tearing it up, right? Now we have gotten her trained to where we do try to throw it. You've seen me throw it off to the side to the natural area instead of making her run like straight out um, into the grass. Hopefully this side will be a shade loving side and it will flourish and bloom and be beautiful. Um, but it just, it just kills me to see my backyard like this. I'm like, whoo. So back to Madeline. I'm picking her up in just a little bit. I'm sure she's gonna talk me into going to Starbucks because she always does. She gets impressions today um, and they do it with her braces on. Go figure. Now I could be totally wrong here, but I don't think that they use that like nasty stuff that makes you gag. I think it's all done digitally. I could really be making all this up right now. I don't know. Um, because she still has her braces on and I know that when you do the impressions and and you have the that over your braces I don't know how it works and I think I remember him telling me that they did it by the computer I, as I'm telling you this I'm like I don't even think I'm making sense I, I don't know I don't know where I got that from but we'll see we will see in just a little bitty bit Wasn't that kind of cool? Just the way he goes, doo, 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 and he does it so neatly. So, I am out the door. I've got to get Madeline. Let's go see what the orthodontist has to say about Madeline. I got Madeline, and I was asking her if she thought I was crazy about how they did impressions, and she was like, yeah. She said, I don't think that's how they did it. But, she was like, remember when I first went and how they did my impressions then? They did it digitally with like this little like, like camera tool or whatever that they like put on the teeth. They like kind of like sculpted it out or whatever, but I don't know. So were you in a room like by yourself? No, the I, like, I put everybody out. Like, everybody. But didn't you have to like, didn't they have to take pictures or something? That by was like a, a computer? computer? Yeah, when that they was did. At the beginning, that wasn't like impressions. That was just like. Oh, so you didn't have to go in a room by yourself where they had no. a special computer that they like shined a light. How'd they do it digitally at the very beginning? Like when you first did it before you had braces? They did like, they did the camera thing that I just explained. 
Well, obviously, neither one of us really know how they're gonna do it, so hopefully I'll be able to go back there and see, and if not, then she can at least explain it to you when we get done, right? Yes. Speaking of which, did you have a good day at school? Yes. I took her out of art class, and that's her favorite class, and they were doing graffiti art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said, um, you had a word, would you? My word that I like chose to like match my friends that like we agreed to do that or whatever. Uh -huh. It's live. And they, she had a stencil with the word live, you said, and then you get to use like. It's not really a stencil, it's like a sheet of paper that has a graffiti alphabet on it. Then we have our own paper and we look over on the paper to see if we can draw it like right. Oh, so the, there's a type of font called like graffiti. I that, guess, yeah. And so then you just try to match the way the letters look yeah. onto your sheet of paper? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, and so you get, to to, explain. you get to choose fun colors and all that, right? Yeah. Fun. All right, well, sorry I took you out of art, but hopefully we're gonna get this done in a hurry. Go get the kids. Katie's getting the kids off the bus, and then tonight is Gaines' little spring performance at school, so stay tuned for little clips of that, too. Look at that. They took your wire out. So why are you gonna get the little plastic things on them? Like if they do power chain? Yeah. They'll put the wire back in and do a power chain. <laughs> Look at that. It is the nasty stuff. It is the gross stuff. How long do you have to hold it in your mouth? About 30, 35 seconds. Oh, not bad. It was the nasty stuff, wasn't it? Yes. I didn't film the top part because it was like really gross. But um, yeah, she gets to brush again. And then next visit is Grace's Paul. Yeah. It probably feels really good to get up in there without the wire. She still has the wire off, but she gets to brush them really good in between all that. It probably feels good to do that, doesn't it? It's like a massage for your teeth. You get all the goodies out. <laughs> or gunk out, rather. Huh? That's tight. That's it was like that long, and they stretched it out like that much. It's not, they're gray, but oh my gosh, those little rubber bands in there, that power chain they call it, girl, you're gonna be sore. Like, like I'm, I'm not joking. That big, like, she and it was stretched like that, that long. Like, yeah, she stretched that across her mouth. If I took it off, you'd be surprised. Yeah, it's literally. only like this long. It's tinier than the dot. It's actually tinier than the dot on the Bluetooth right there. Yeah. And the dots are tiny and it was only like this long of a thing and it had so it's like this long and then she had to stretch it all the way across and then put the wire on top she did give her some ibuprofen before we left though so whew. it was the nasty yucky impressions but you only had to hold it in your mouth for how long this time 35 seconds like 35 seconds and she didn't even do it all the way back so like i yeah, like it all like they used to like so it didn't yeah, touch my like, throat so it didn't even make me gag yeah so it was not bad wasn't bad guys wasn't bad because I remember when I had braces you had to hold that nasty stuff in your mouth for four minutes and seriously you were almost gagged like it was it was gross so just be glad it's only 35 seconds that's doable right mm -hmm. next time braces come off I hope it's like the actual like retainer not like the permanent retainer no the permanent retainer was awful well, the permanent, I still have my permanent retainer on the bottom, otherwise you have to wear them because I had a not permanent retainer on the bottom the first time around and then that's when my jaw shifted and I got messed up and I had to get back in them for well, my jaw. that's why you gotta wear your retainer. Yeah, but I mean, come on, after like 10 years of wearing a retainer, I'm done. I didn't want to wear it anymore. So, I mean, if you have a permanent, it's in there, you don't have to worry about it, you know? Yeah. But I don't but have it, anything like on my hurt, top teeth. But it I, hurt bad whenever they take it out, though, because of my sensitive teeth. Oh, well, they don't, like the I, you don't take it out ever. They took mine out. Well, that's because you had to get braces again. Exactly, see? Yeah, but I'm not going to have to get braces again because I got a permanent retainer. You just had a jacked up mouth. <laughs> All right, did you find games? Did you find her?